Here's an example of an arithmetic operation in a SELECT statement. In the SELECT clause, they're selecting the title column, and then they want to select the retail column. And, and when I say select the title column, they want to select the data from the title column. They want to select the data from the real retail column minus the data from the cost column. So it's retail minus cost. Notice the comma. I need to erase. Notice the comma in between the two select fields. Okay, or between the field and the expression. There is no comma here. That means this is a column alias. So look at the output. The column alias of profit, it's one piece of data. Now what we can't see here is this particular output, 12.2, is the result of this arithmetic expression. The data in the retail field minus the data in the cost field for this particular record. Okay. All right. <clears throat> null values. Okay. A null value is an unknown value. It's that nothing was entered into that particular field for a particular record. Okay. And what this example on page 42 shows is that in your output, again, I want to say depending on the environment you're using, it may look different if you're using um, the Oracle Application Express installed on your personal computer. It might look different there than it might look in the Apex website. And certainly it might look different if you're using the command line um, SQL Plus environment with the Oracle Express version on your computer. But in this example, they select the title field, the retail field, the discount field, and then an expression, retail minus discount. They're selecting this data from the books table. Notice that some of these fields have nulls in the field for each record. Some of these records have nulls in the discount field. And because there's a null in the discount field, there's a null in the arithmetic expression. The reason being is because since the null is an unknown value, we cannot subtract it from the 30.95. The output is unknown because we don't know what we're extracting. Again, the null value sometimes is hard to understand. It's a concept that is kind of confusing. It is an unknown value. So we can't subtract nothing from the retail in this example. We can't subtract nothing from it because we don't know what it is. Since it's unknown, our results are unknown. Here's an example of using the distinct and or the unique keyword. Okay. In our customers table, if you actually looked at the data in the customers table, now I keep reminding you, in the real world, we can't look at the data examples in the appendix of the book. We don't have that in the real world. But if you were to look at the appendix and look at the data in the customers table, you would see that we have more than one Florida customer. I think we have more than one uh, New Jersey customer. I, I can't remember all of them that have more than one. But in the output here, we only see one from each state because of the distinct keyword. It says select the data from the state column, but suppress duplicates. In other words, the first time you see a customer from New Jersey, display it. But the next time you see a record that has New Jersey as the state data, you ignore it. You skip over it or you suppress it. 